Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So Brandon Ayuk has really become one of the best rookie wide receivers out of his draft class. And when you take into consideration that the 49ers have been without dudes like Debo Samuel, they've been without George Kittle, Raheem Mostert, um, Tevin Coleman, Jared McKinnon, Jimmy Garoppolo. They're without all of these dudes on offense. This man has still found a way to step up to the plate, take advantage of the opportunities, and produce with a backup quarterback. You have to give him his props. And when you look at the stats, they're very acceptable. They're very acceptable. He's not going to have a thousand yards most likely, but still a very successful rookie season for this dude, man. And just by looking at film, this dude has been a pure playmaker for the 49ers. You can get a ball to him on jet sweeps. He's going to make something happen. Give the ball to him on end of rounds. He's going to make something happen. Good vision on his runs, good cut moves. He knows what he's doing with the ball. Dudes like him, you got to get the ball when you can. Look at the way he just bursts into the hole and accelerates. You feel me? You know, not a touchdown, but definitely a very productive play. Give him the ball on screens and just let him go to work. Just breaking tackles. You feel me? Just let him go to work. He's crazy in the open field. Just hurling the defender. Made him fly out of bounds. And he scored the touchdown, man. Same thing right here. Get the ball. Boom. Hit him with the back juke. Then he reverses field. Just willing and determined to make the best out of every single possession. Has the awareness and playmaking ability to lateral the ball backwards to his teammate to pick up the few yards that he knew he wasn't going to be able to get. Like I said, a lot of receivers are just not this gifted. He just gets them enough to be good in the open field. And that translates into the yards after the catch game, which he also kills, partially because he knows how to slip out of a lot of tackle attempts and pick up those extra yards, you know? Very tough guy, very elusive, man. Same thing right here. In the flats, catch the ball. He knows how to bounce off of a lot of tackles and slip out of tackles as well, man. I've seen him do it numerous of times. This is why he was one of the top people in the whole NCAA last year in yards after the catch. Just very gifted. On top of that, like I said, he's a tough guy. He can absorb hits. Throw the ball to him in traffic, knowing he's going to get hit, he's going to hold on. Even if he doesn't know he's going to get hit, dude's still going to hold on to the ball because that's just who he is, man. Dude is tough. Dude's going to hold on to the ball. I've never seen him fumble. Doesn't have any fumbles on the stat sheet. I only saw him drop the ball like once off of a hit. Other than that, he's bringing in all of those tough catches, man. And then on top of that, his catch radius is just amazing. You know, just he can go up and get it. Even if somebody's behind him, he can go up and get it. Same thing right here. Look at the vertical when he went up and got this. The radius is just crazy. And of course, he was still still hold on to the catch. On top of that, if the ball is not where it needs to be or he needs to work a little bit harder for it, he will dive out there and get dirty for the ball, man. Dudes such as Jerry Judy, who was drafted second off the board, is not doing that, man. Same thing right here, just diving. Just diving, just willing to put in the work to make that catch. These are the type of receivers you need on your team, man. And then look at the effort on the low grabs. That should have been an incompletion. He still brings it in. Same thing right here on the out route. The ball is a little bit low and behind, still goes down and picks it up, and still is able to go ahead and get the yards after the catch. And then last but not least, this man has definitely come along as a raw runner. Boom, hitting with the hezzy, gets open, easy money, you feel me? Great catch. Same thing right here. Face the slant, hitting with the fade, easy money once again. Remember, every route is not like that, don't get me wrong, I'm just saying. He's coming along and getting better as a route runner every single week. Now, as far as Ayuk, Ayuk is going to be a dog. Ayuk, when Debo Samuel comes back, if they both can remain healthy, come on, man, they already got George Kittle. They already got Raheem Mostert in the backfield. I don't know what the quarterback situation is going to be like next year, but this team has weapons, has a lot of speed, and we've seen what they did last year when they was healthy. And they still got the defense to anchor the offense. Come on, man. These dudes are going to eat together next year if they can stay healthy, man. I'm telling you, he fits right in. And he may actually take over as the number one wide receiver. Debo might have to defer and be number two. This man might already be the number one wide receiver. 
That's how good he is. And just to sum up, the type of receiver he is, the dude is basically a playmaker. Give him the ball in the open field. Let him work. Rather, it's just sweeps and the rounds, screens. Let him work. Yours after the catch. He can get those. He knows how to slip out of tackles. He knows how to break tackles. Very physical and elusive receiver. He's not like those big body receivers like DK Metcalf. But for who he is in his size, I think it's fair enough to say that he's pretty elusive and physical for his size, man. Very athletic on top of that. On top of when you bring up his hands, he can go up and get it. He can go down and get it. He can dive out for it. And if you throw it on the money, definitely going to catch it. If he gets hit, he will hold on nine times out of ten. Very good receiver. And he's still working on his route running in the process, man. That is exactly who Brandon Ayuk is to me. Now, if I had to compare him to a receiver that's in the NFL right now, I would compare him to A.J. Brown. He's just a little bit less physical, but a little bit more athletic, you know? And he's just not as big as A.J. Brown. But people that really watch A.J. Brown, they very much have a very similar play style. That's where I'm at. You know, some people may disagree. Some people may say other comparisons. Let me know your comparisons in the comment section. But that's pretty much my comparison. I'm trying to get better with these comparisons, but that's my comparison. But as far as Ayuk, he's going to be a dog. And when the 49ers get all their people back next year, if he's on the offense, you know, they're going to be deadly, man. But that's how I feel. Let me know how y'all think in the comment section about Brandon Ayuk. Um, as far as his class right now, I'd say he's the third best receiver out of his draft class. I say he's the third best. Y'all can argue it all y'all want, you know, and debate about it. But me personally, I say he's probably the third best. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. And I got some more content coming soon.